Hello friends, so welcome to another session on problem solving on linear equations in two variables. This is a word problem or the application of linear equation in two problems. Here we are dealing with fractions. So let us first see what a fraction is. So a fraction will be of the form of n by d where n is numerator. So this is a numerator and d will be denominator. Isn't it? Denominator and where n and d both are integers. Integers. This is very important. Okay. Now, let us solve this problem. What does the problem say? The sum of the numerator. Let us now translate as we read also. Sum. The moment you see the word sum, so you have to add something, right? So this is plus sum of the numerator and denominator of a fraction so n plus d this is a sum is now the moment you say is that means it is equal to 3 less than so 3 is less than something so that means minus 3 twice the denominator so that means 2d so 3 less than twice the denominator is sum of the numerator and the denominator so let us simplify this first equation so you'll get uh, d minus n 2d minus d and n goes on the right hand side and then i bring it all on the right hand side you'll, uh, left hand side you'll get d minus n is equal to 3 so this d goes here becomes sub you know reduces 2d to d and uh, n also goes here on the right hand side and this 3 comes here so yeah so this will be d minus n equals to 3 equation number one right then let's go to the second statement what is the second statement? It says, if the numerator and denominator are reduced by 1, the numerator becomes half. So becomes means again, becomes equal to half the denominator. That means, if numerator and denominator are reduced by 1, the numerator becomes half the denominator. So, n minus 1 becomes half d minus 1 okay this is the so numerator one subtracted from numerator and one does subtracted from denominator so it says once you do this the numerator will become half the denominator so let us simplify this you'll get 2n minus 2 is equal to d minus 1 that means 2n minus d is equal to 1 this is equation number 2 right let us highlight our equations so this is equation number 1 and this is equation number two. Now you know how to solve linear equation in two variables and these are very simple looking equations. So what you can do is add one plus two. Why am I adding one plus two? Because in equation one there is d and in equation two there is minus d. So they will cancel out the moment you add them. So you'll get d minus n plus two n minus d is equal to three plus one. So you'll get n equals four. Right? If n equals 4, then from 1, from 1, d minus n equals 4. Sorry, d minus d minus n was equal to 3. 3. So d minus 4 was equal to 3 because n we just found out is 4. So d is equal to 7. Right? So fraction required fraction. You should write required fraction is 3 upon I'm sorry 4 upon 7 4 upon 7 4 upon 7 let us check whether it is true or not so uh, first condition was that sum of the numerator and denominator fraction is 3 less than twice the denominator so sum this is checking let us check sum of this will be 4 plus 7 equals 11 now this must be 2 times 7 minus 3 twice the denominator minus 3 which is 11 so both are matching so hence it is correct let us also check the second one so if numerator is reduced by 1 so it becomes 3 and denominator is reduced by 1 it also it becomes 6 so 3 by 6 is half which is true that is what was mentioned in the question so numerator becomes half the denominator so this is how fraction related problems in linear equation in two variables will be solved. Thank you.